there's the bike it's still here don't worry it ain't going anywhere I'm not selling it it is going to be running possibly in the next month what I need to do for testing purposes is take off the ancillaries that aren't actually needed for testing purposes to make it look more like a push bike again headlights going to come off the indicators are going to come off um, I'm going to put a quick release um, connector on it that's the sole the idea of the video of today the GPS which sits on here I'll have to find a way of relocating that maybe I'll, I think I might print another bracket for this and extend it and put the GPS receiver there rather than on the headlight so I need to take this off I might just take the clamps off but I don't know obviously I still need a headlight on here so I may just use the twin ones that I had before and then just mount them and then when I come for the MSVA I can put this back on hopefully it won't take that long the rear view mirror I'm not decided on yet I don't know whether to just leave this one on or get a smaller one something or put it or put a bar end one on just for the time being so that can actually come off now because I keep smacking my bloody face on it job done all the bat lights they connect uh, to this connector here the tail lights, the indicators and everything else so I don't, I've already done that one the switches are staying the speedos staying for the time being until I finish my other one and I can figure out how to mount it um, and that's it I think just the headlights and the indicators are going to come off today so hopefully I can't remember how I put them on actually hopefully it shouldn't be a, too big of a problem so I'm going to do that. These are the things that I needed to, uh, to do. I needed it did. <laughs> These are the things that I needed to do before I took the bike out on the road. Is make everything sort of modular if I don't want to mount something somewhere I can take it off. And also it makes it a lot easier to replace something if an indicator breaks or blah blah blah. So I can just take the whole front section off. Oh including the horn. I put my automotive connectors on I don't know why I put different genders on there, I don't know what I was thinking at the time but it's done um, so this goes around the forks clamps go around it, hook it up the horn goes there and goes through that bolt there and mounts there, that's fine so I've now got to do the very important part on the other side so as I can just get some other headlights and just clank, clamp them on job done this is going to be a challenge this is easy because I'm sitting with my back straight upright over there is a different story because I've got to be very careful I keep saying it I know but I've got to be very careful with my back for the time being these are the wires to the headlight and these are the wires to the indicator indicators and the horn now thinking about it, I've got how many wires there? Six wires. But I only need four. Is it four? Yeah, it's four because the earth is actually it's the earth's ground, it's all linked on the earth. So I should, I'm hoping, be able to just get away with four wires instead of six. And that one's got to have five wires, is it? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put, be putting obviously the opposite gender to those that I've just put on onto here. And then it's done. Well, it's not done. I've got to figure out a headlight. Just for a temporary thing, I've still got to mount the speedo. Every time I say, I've still got to mount the speedo. <laughs> well, it's taking me all day to do two bloody connectors. That one and the one behind it there that one's for the headlights, the one at the back and this is one for the indicators and the horn now because of the way that I bloody well wired it I can't use a common earth because the indicators are actually switched positive and not negative so I've had to put a 6 pin connector on there it'll work fine so now We've got indicators again. We've got side light, headlight, main beam, and 
the horn. Unfortunately that's all I've been able to do today and of course this is now removable via these connectors. I'll take it off, hang on. There you go. It looks a bit less like a motorbike now. Obviously I've got to tidy all that up again and put it all in the cowling. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put a headlight on it because I'm not going to be using it at night. It's only going to be in the day. So I've got, what have I got left? Um, I'll put the cowling back on and I think literally all I've got to do is connect the power connectors because on here I'm still using my sacrificial wires purely because in case anything goes wrong but I reckon it's nearly it's nearly done I've just got to get it down the stairs now I've decided that I'm not going to be keeping this in here I'm going to be keeeping it in a uh, lock up uh, which is round about what 10 miles away I think 10-12 miles away I'm not going to be able to commute on it so the only time I've got to get it down the stairs is once and then I can ride it over to the lock up and then get a lift home or thumb it, walk it or fly if I can build something or bollocks to know oh, so then I've only, only got to get home um, I can only use it on weekends like I say but you know it's going to be fantastic but, but, I've also got my winch. My winch itself is going to go on the inside of the building and it's going to be uh, to winch it up the stairs. I can't put it on the outside, I can't. The only way I can do it is the way that I'm doing it. Believe me, that is the only way. So, I reckon in, I'll give it a couple of weeks to let myself heal a bit more and then I'm going to be out. <laughs>